All righty. Alright guys, let's do this. Empowered Q's here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are going against some Fiora in the top lane. Pretty pumped about it. Uh, I usually play the beginning of this matchup pretty well. And then I kind of mess up the mid game. So, let's we'll see how it goes. We're taking our E first. We went with Conqueror. Back it up. Got a nice little level 1 trade there. Cool. She didn't have Conqueror up, so we got more of the damage there. So, Bring it on. don't want to get hit by that vital. Give her some life steal. She's taking all that minion damage. Bitch. Got it. Yeah, she tried to get really greedy for that vital. And it... She ended up taking all that minion damage. If you don't remember, like, minions do, like, 200 damage after not too long. So... Yeah. Free damage. <laughs> so she took TP. That wave is going to... I don't think she can freeze it. No. There's too much. I went back. I want to grab a Doran's Blade for some good combat stats and Regent Beast. Surprise! I'm back. I might have to TP actually. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to TP. Or else I'm going to miss that cannon too much. Wait, right, still miss the cannon. Nice. Okay. I don't have my E. Thought I did. I gotta be super careful that Sejuani doesn't come from when I place a ward. We did both burn flash. Oh god, fuck me. <laughs> I thought I took too much tower shot it shot there. Okay. She used teleport so I could push this. Man, this fuel is fucked. <laughs> Man, my W came up just in the nick of time. Good stuff. So push us all the way in and get the freak Ready back. For battle. Nice. 22 to 10 CS and two kills. Get out of here! Alright. Uh, I'm going to rush my TM at first. Um, it's going to be great against Wave Clear. Probably the first item that Fiora builds as well. So I'm going to go Tiamat, then probably Ninja Tabby, um, and then finish my Triforce. Definitely going to end up building a Bramble Vest. Nice. Because uh, she's going to build a lot of lifesteal. That'll help against Vayne as well. Um, might go, end up going Random and Omen. It depends on how much I think I'm going to end up splitting this game. So, you can establish a nice amount of lane dominance here. Try to freeze out the wave. It's on. Back it up. Pop my potion. Got greedy for the cannon, but that's okay. Surprise! That's one of those things about Fiora. She's almost like a Darius. If she keeps getting vitals, she could still own me, so I gotta be careful. Who dares take a dragon? What dragon is it? Mount dragon, not bad. So, I can walk off. Get this. Oh, come on. She goes for it. I can eat. Man, I am fucked. Stay over here. God damn. I even dodged out her stun. She still fucking wrecked me. Fuck me. I don't know what I could have done there differently. That uh, double proc E does takes out my attack speed way too much for me to win trades then. Shit. That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want more quick bursty trades against her. Until I get my Triforce and stuff, I think that's going to be a hard trade for me to still win. Oh, I still get most of these. Oh, 
Okay, get that one. Nope. That one's sweet. Okay. I'm gonna hard shove. She doesn't have TP anyway, so this will allow me to get some vision and maybe make a roam fly. Try and get Rift Scuttler here. Let me add him. Run this way. Nice. Sweet. So since I shoved the wave, I am free to run down to mid. Make a play. The Rise saw me coming, so good stuff by him. So good awareness by the Rise. That's how I can tell I'm back in high higher elo when people are actually paying attention and what did i lose that one minion two minions and i am very okay with that and a freaking cannon because i suck really let me add him pop my potions she go for the dive she should have her E back up, or else I'd flash jump. Just gonna shove this in, maybe. Got her still. I just flashed. Oh god. Got the flash. Three. Two. I'm not gonna get it. Damn, I had two seconds left. Almost had it. <laughs> get my boots next. Start working towards my ninja tabby. So the way Fiora's uh, repost works is, is it does only stun if it actually hits you. So I wasn't. I haven't been fighting her enough to know if she uses it early or late. So by flashing, if she got me, um, I knew I could still win the trade. I'm just gonna teleport back top. Let's go shove it anyways. Surprise, I'm back. So she has wave control, so I don't have nope, she doesn't have. Bad. So she uses it late. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, once you the Big thing about the Fiora matchup, and that's what I like about it, is, is it's so skill reliant because it's all a matter of whether you can play out her dodge mechanic versus yours. So it's dodge for dodge. Um, I was I watched one. I don't know if you Ready you know is Nietzsche, I think his name is N E A C E. One of his coachings before he quit league. Uh, the saying he kept going with Jax was when he was doing the coaching is no E F me, and that holds pretty true. If your E's down, don't fight. But if you had E advantage of pretty much any team, any uh, matchup, then you could fight and probably win. So that's why you see me the couple times over up here at tower. I would uh, kind of walk in with my E. I might go for it. I think I can get it. Nope. Close. Close. Get Udyr to maybe come. Get first tower here. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Nice debate. I think uh, this viewer is a little upset. I'm a little upset. Don't do it, Udir. Ah, oh, Udir, I hate you. I missed it by a fraction. Alright, get my ninja tabby here. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. Uh, so, this lane's all pushed out. Fiora has to answer for it. It's going to be a while before it gets to my tower. About 45 seconds or so. It's more enough to us for us to come help pressure Dragon. And we can just walk it back up top. Bring it on. Nice. So 
clear this real quick and then run it back up top. Oh god, I'm much lower than I thought. See ya. Oh god! I used to be like waggled by like lamp like nah. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna just sell my control ward. Get my stinger. Run back top. Nice. Cool. Look at this Udir. Six and zero. I love it when teammates win lanes. That's what I'm talking about. But once again, I, I feel like this is like the Darius matchup. If I let her farm and I misplay just by a little bit, she'll still find a reason to kill me. So gotta respect the damage, just like you do against Darius. On all stages of the game, Bring it on. I feel like it could really go wrong. Uh, I'm gonna grab Rift Scuttler, give myself some deep vision again. Unstoppable. Nice. Now it's my turn. What she got? Yeah, I still think I, I think I still win this. My problem is, is I haven't auto attacked at all yet, so I, I need four seconds to start stacking my conqueror. Because remember, you attack a minion, and then it's four seconds, and then it can go live. So I don't want to fight her while her conqueror is up and mine is not. So, just another thing to keep in mind. She might be done fighting me though. Let's see if I can take some uh, jungle action here. See if blue's up. Sure is. Boosted. Couldn't get there in time. I wanted to get there and stun her. Oh, push this wave. She only got the assist, so not worried about that. Yep. Be Surprise, careful, I don't see Corky. He might come this way. Nope, see him. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> so, what happened there was I had all my. Oh god, stop hitting me. Run away. <laughs> can't believe I took those two tower shots but I built up all of my attack speed off of the tower so when he came I already had all of my procs off my relentless assault so I was stacked already up to eight times stun easy kill all right start building towards my Let me add him. Titanic you really need to start rotating now start taking more objectives so I'm going to push this wave out once and then work my way uh, probably middle, maybe bottom. Maybe get this tier 1 out. Maybe we could kill Fiora again for, for funds. Yeah, now. He's strong enough to win that? Uh, yeah, he's strong enough to win that. Baby! 
baited. Wow. They got super hardcore baited on that one. <laughs> oh, funny. So the way we want to do that team fight is as soon as they used all of their engage tools on Udyr, I was free to just run up and attack the Corky. It's really what it comes down to. He's also super weak, so he's never bursting me out. Get out. Good stuff by the Udir. Go back up, start making my way bot. Oh, Surprise. halt. Gonna grab another wave. Need 150 gold. Awkward back time. There we go. Well, Corky's dead. Bring it on. Get the dragon. I'm suspecting a surrender at 20. I don't know for sure, but I suspect it. Yeah, I mean, Ed, there's a lot of things that you could do in this matchup. If you're starting to lose it, you could always go more tanky, so you could rush a Bramble. Um, so Ninja Tampy Bramble, the classic. Hashin Shin Classic. Uh, or the classic Hashin Shin Special, I should say. There's always an option for you. Uh, tanky stats are much cheaper, so you could always build that into a potential Randowin's Omen, um, which would be good against the crit that Vayne's building, the health and armor are against the Fjord plus the Slow. That armor's going to funnel into your Bramble Vest, which is eventually a Thorn Mill as well. So, all things that you want. But I really don't suspect that I have to be doing that this game. That's a really dumb move by the bank because if she doesn't hit anything, it doesn't go off cooldown. So if I had flash. <laughs> oh my god. See you later. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was tempted. I thought about jumping, dot, uh, counter striking and killing, but. We'll get this tower. Luckily, we don't need rise. Over, get this turn. Bring it on. I said he does no damage. Who <laughs> has four thousand gold? Yikes. I'm gonna build Rage Blade because it's fun. And I can. Sell the Doran's Blade for the extra damage component. So I'm gonna go Rage Blade Sterix. I can see no reason the game should go that long. That's the plan. Setting up. <laughs> Setting up. Just take the F3 inhibitors down. If you don't know why that's bad, it's because. Whenever you have three inhibitors down, um, you get double the super minions, and they have a debuff that grants nearby minions 7% increased damage, 35 magic resistance, and 35 armor. That stacks, and then they actually give it to themselves as well. So it is super duper strong. Us two can take this, and we can just end the game. What do I need for my rage blade? Yeah, I won't get that much. So that's okay. Back and teleport in. Death. <laughs> I 
So I messed up that one early game one. You can't that one early uh, death when she did her E, which uh, really, really slows your attack speed, and it super threw me off and did a lot more damage than what I expected. So just don't let that happen to you. And I feel like you can win the lane pretty easily. So just master your E, and I think you're good. Well, my team rocked. I like it. Let's check out some damage. That rise. Whew. So, once again, if you want to see the rune set up, here you go. Standard four that I always take. And then I don't think Fiora is going to poke me very well in the early game. So I take Scorch for those quick little auto trade damages that let me get the first blood. As well as the celerity for the movement speed. So, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that good jazz. Uh, definitely really, really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you check out the description info. It's got my Twitch stuff on there. So if you want to go chill with me and the squad while we record and get yourself a little empowered action in there, that would be awesome as well. And tune in next time. Peace, guys. Thanks.